Find out the healing intention of your subject and help him or her phrase it in such a way that we aren't trying to manipulate result, but that we're trying to heal whatever the painful life symptom represents. Bob, would you be willing to state? Yes, tightness in, tightness in the back. Upper or lower back? Uh, lower back. So your intention is to relieve whatever the lower back tightness represents? Right, especially the, my intention is to release whatever the tightness represents. <laughs> Webinar friends, do you feel you understand what's happening for you? If you're working alone at home, Bob is your subject, you are the practitioner. Bob's healing intention is to heal whatever the tightness in his lower back represents. Let us know through the webinar chat feature if that doesn't make sense to you, if you have any questions, and we'll clarify. Our assumption is you understand. All right, everyone, are we ready? All right, friends. The energy configuration is the key. I'm going to talk you through this. 20 minutes, we begin. First, notice yourself. Notice your body. Notice your breathing. If there's any pain or tightness, pressure, or discomfort, breathe into it with love. Calm and center yourself with the breath. Notice the condition of yourself. Give love to any tenseness or pain. And start to find the other person's energy body in your awareness. Draw your focus to your subject. And have the intention to begin to merge with him or her, to become your subject, to become your subject, to become one with your subject. Taking little steps toward him or her can help. Bob, is it okay if I also can help? Deepening the merge, deepening the merge. Merge in not only at the head, but at the heart. Merge in at the navel. Merge at the hips. Merge at the knees. Merge at the feet. Merge the pillars beneath the feet. And now draw the focus into what is now the joint heart chakra. <clears throat> and align it with universal presence, drawing light and love from universal source straight into the front of the heart, filling it so full of love it bulges and expands. And then exhales out the back in a river of love, letting the river flow front to back, front to back, front to back, front to back, front to back. Through the two of you, and use this as... Thread to deepen the merge, to sew yourselves together, deepening the merge, feeling how that chakra truly becomes one chakra. And draw the focus now at the back of the chakra, having the intention to align with that element of divine presence you're most personally comfortable with, be it Christ consciousness, Buddha nature, or something else entirely you don't need to know. Drawing it into the back of this mutual heart chakra, filling it with so much love, it bulges, expands, and exhales out the front, and the river of love is flowing in the back and out the front, in the back and out the front, in the back and out the front, through us, around us, through us, and through our lives, swishing those rivers of love back to front and front to back through the heart, creating that turbulence, cleansing, clearing. Excellent, excellent, great. Now drawing the focus to the feet and through the feet, connecting into the center of the planet and maybe down farther into the center of the Milky Way and drawing up Father Earth and Mother Earth through us, around us, in an upward rising river of love flowing through us and through our lives, letting that river flow. Earth to sky, earth to sky, earth to sky. Engaging in the eternal process of straightening the energy body, there's always more we can do, always more. Straightening, straightening, and deepening the merge. Deepening the merge as you straighten and comb both energy bodies, which are one energy body combined. Whew. Drawing the focus to the combined joint crown, 
and through the crown connecting into source energy the rainbow of healing frequencies drawing and keeping those earth energies rising not collapsing drawing down the healing frequencies down 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 in a downward flowing river of love all the healing frequencies we currently have access to and have ever had access to and will ever have access to letting those flow sky to earth sky to earth sky to earth now Switching those rivers top to bottom and bottom to top, creating that turbulence, cleansing, clearing, beautiful, beautiful, drawing the focus to the intersection of heart chakra and vertical channels, oh. <coughs> letting it build a critical mass of love and letting the bubble expand, noticing the bubble, strong, light, bright, resilient, crackling with love, with electricity, Whew. it's clear, only beings that you invite in can join you. This is private, sacred healing space. Keeping that upward rising earth energy flowing strong, strong, strong. Keeping strong, keeping strong. That's our work, to be strong here. Beautiful. Now, claim the bubble, safe, sacred, private healing space, but we probably just did that. And so now invite the guides and angels and healing beings to join. Populate the bubble. And then... Get into the good habit of asking your guides, your personal guides, for permission to do the work. Guidance, support, protection in the process. Don't be afraid to babble it out. Thought, word, and deed. Thought, word, and deed. And then notice your subject's higher self. What a blessing to serve someone like this. What a blessing. And now, ask that higher soul, for permission and let them know that they can put any limits they want on it. You're not going to go barging into closed rooms so they can relax and accept the healing. <sighs> oh, excellent. And now ask their guides, their guides, to join you in the bubble. Whew, open the channels wide. Whew, open the connections wide. <laughs> Notice that vortex pulsing around. Nice, strong, muscular vortex. Thank you, thank you, thank you, vortex. Creating clear, safe, sacred space. And noticing the living waters flowing right down through the vortex. Wonderful. Now, friends, beginning with the intention in your heart. Hold the intention in your heart. The intention to release Whatever the symptom represents, whatever it represents, begin to work with the chain link size screen with the intention to remove what it represents. Don't be afraid to babble it out, thought, word, and deed, quietly because there are many bodies in the room. Remembering to throw those screens way up high, bag them up and throw them way up high above the astrals. Doing our best. Remind yourself of the intention. When that chain link fence passes through cleanly, drop down to inch square.
And when the inch square drops through, uh, draws through clear, drop down to half inch. If you're still on the chain link, consider dropping down to the inch square. And if you're on the inch, consider dropping down to half inch. And if you're on half inch, consider dropping to quarter inch. And refresh yourself in your mind of the intention to release the symptoms, represent what it represents. Not the symptom, but what it represents. Consider dropping down to the next finer grade to get a feel for it. Half inch or smaller, half inch or quarter inch or eighth inch. Wherever you are in the process. Deep in the merge. Deep in the merge. Upward rising energy flowing. Deep in the merge. More upward energy. Deep in the merge. Excellent. Channels up. Excellent. If you aren't already at the eighth inch, just start to head toward that direction. Often from the eighth inch through the bug screen, through the sheets of light, there's a lot of debris. Deep in the merge, more upward rising energy. Support yourself. Ask for simultaneous healing. May you be healed of whatever this represents as well. There you go. Hold yourself big, big, big. Consider dropping down to the sheets of light, linen bed sheets made of love, made of light.
Deep in the merge. Upward rising energy flowing strongly. Channels up. Channels up, deep in the merge. Channels up, deep in the merge. Notice your physical posture. If you're holding your butt out, you've lost your merge. Better. Good job. you've already worked with the sheet, consider working with the sticky fog, the thick band of love. So gentle, so kind. Refresh the intention, whatever the symptom represents, to relieve it for this, whatever the symptom represents, to heal it for your subject and yourself. And deep in the merge. Work with that sticky fog. Come through at a different angle. Consider it. Consider it. More upward rising energy, more channels up. And now, let's start to ask for divine assistance, having done our best. Having done our best. Let's ask for the light beings to come help us. Help us with this. Help us with this. Help us with this work. Help us with this work. of healing whatever this symptom represents for this person and myself. And knowing that we have a learner's permit, let's raise it, flash it around, show that learner's permit, and say, and now, let's correct our mistakes. Please correct my mistakes. I've made a boatload. Correct them now. Include the things that I left out that should have been included. Don't be afraid to say it out loud. Let's take our poorly done work and raise it to the level of well done work, asking for the divine beings to do this for us, the light beings. Take our work and make it well done. And now take our well done work and make it divinely perfect. Keeping that upward energy flowing through us. Staying strong as we ask. Not collapsing when we ask for divine help. Staying strong in our power and asking for divine help. There you go. There you go. There you go. Now let's ask for, ask for you and your subject to be brought to perfect Frequency and alignment, vibration, pitch, harmony with the all that is, whatever words you want to use. And now start to separate. 
internalizing into skin, soft tissues, muscles, organs, glands, and bones for you and your subject. Yours to you, mine to me. Yours to you, mine to me. The gifts have been given and received. We are complete. Yours to you, mine to me. Yours to you, mine to me. This is a process that can help to take backward steps, thought, word, and deed, reminding yourself what you're doing. We are complete. We are complete. We are complete. We are complete. Drawing up more earth energy for you <coughs> and your subject, more earth energy for you and your subject, more earth energy for you and your subject, not losing that upward rising power, staying strong throughout the process of healing, staying strong throughout the process of life. Now, Take that bubble we started with, expanding it with your intention a million, a billion times over if you wish. So much light that no one can possibly feel shortchanged and then split it into individual bubbles. One for you, one for your subject, one for everyone you touched, everyone encased in light. <sighs> Drawing the bubbles right on down into the divine plan. See if you can feel them or notice them popping and clicking in place in the plan, feeling them reach their right spot. When you feel complete, declare it complete and give thanks. That was fabulous, fabulous friends, fabulous friends. Now we're going to have movement. I'm so sorry to interrupt. Lindsay, you're on. I'm sorry. What we're going to do is have movement, quick and fun, swap and go again. I understand the need to talk. Deep in the merge. More upward flow. Channels up. More upward flow. Stop thinking of yourselves as small and powerless because you aren't. See yourself as capable. Stop telling yourself you can't do this because you can. You can. Claim it. Consider dropping down to the inch square if you haven't already.
you're already at the inch square, consider dropping down to half inch. Thought word and deed, stating the intention. Excellent work. Excellent work. You can do it. Deepening the merge, screening yourselves too. A lot of you are leaving yourselves out of the blessing. Screening yourself too. It creates a more powerful healing for her when you include yourself. You're not cheating her. Deepening the merge. <coughs> Consider dropping down the next finer grade, half inch perhaps or quarter inch perhaps. Wherever you are, just consider moving on to get a feel for all the screens. Reminding yourself of the intention, removing whatever the symptom represents, both for you and your subject. Deepening the merge. Be sure that you feel the screens passing through yourself. That's how you can tell you have a good merge. You can feel it. Feels very nice. <laughs> Consider starting to drop down to those finer meshes. There's often a lot of work in that eighth inch bug screen and sheets of light. Just start to move toward those finer meshes. Keep that upward rising energy, stay strong.
more upward energy. Feel the screens going through your body as you pass it through your subject's body. If you can't feel it, deepen the merge. If you aren't already at the bug screens, start to work with bug screens of light. And if you're already there, start to work with the sheets, sheets of love and light. They feel wonderful. Try coming through at different angles just to get a feel for it. Channels up to the guides, upward rising energy. Don't lose your strength. More upward flow. Stop thinking of yourself as helpless and strong and small and be strong. Be strong. Start to move toward the sticky fog, this beautiful thick band of sticky love, magnetized, clearing and aligning, feels fabulous. Holding the intention to release whatever the symptom represents. As you pass it through your subject, if you can't feel it, then deepen the merge. More upward flow. You're the size of the planet. Claim it. You feel you've done your best. Begin to ask for the light beings to make it right, to bring it divinely to perfection. Don't start the close yet, sweetie. <laughs> Keep that upward flow. As you ask for help, ask from a powerful place, not a begging place. Power the engine. That's our work, to call up the earth energy, to power the engine of healing. And then let them work through you. Be the tube through which the divine wind blows. You 
can begin to ask for your errors to be corrected. <laughs> Not collapsing, staying strong as you do so. There's nothing wrong with making a mistake. Friends, if you haven't made a mistake, you haven't pushed your limits. Hope for mistakes. Rejoice in the mistakes, you see? Not that we're trying to make them. We're trying to do our very best. But then we ask for our mistakes to be corrected. And it's a beautiful moment when they are because it means we've done our best. And ask for things that were left out to be included too. And now start to raise everything to the level of if there was poorly done work, let's raise it to well done. Asking for the divine to do this, you see, but also holding the space, upward rising energy, not collapsing, staying strong. And now asking for well done work to be made divinely perfect, not collapsing, holding the energy, staying strong. Upward flow for the healing and for your life. Excellent. Excellent. And now start to ask for you and your subject to be brought to perfect frequency alignment. Whatever words feel right to you, to get it right, divinely perfect, optimized. Perfect pitch, perfect vibration, balance, full state of empowerment, and in harmony with the all that is. Not collapsing, staying strong. Now start the process of separating. Separating, internalizing into skin, soft tissues, muscles, organs, glands, bones, all the tissues of the body, all the cells of the body, all the molecules of the body, all the atoms of the body for you and your subject. Yours to you, mine to me. Yours to you, mine to me. The gift is given, we are complete. You can even back up. <laughs> Watch the person in back of you. Backing up to remind yourself what you're doing. Thought, word, and deed. Thought, word, and deed. We are complete. We have both received our gifts. We are complete. We are complete. We are complete. We are complete. Reaching down into the planet. More upward flow. <sighs> Staying strong. Staying strong for the healing and for your life. Staying strong. Better. Staying strong. Now let's take that bubble we started with expanding it a million billion times over plenty of light no one could possibly feel short change splitting it into individual bubbles <laughs> one for you one for me one for everyone we touched everyone encased in light <laughs> drawing the bubbles down into the divine plan <laughs> just for the moment <laughs> everyone in their perfect place so be it so be it so be it and give thanks Not collapsing, powerfully giving thanks. That was fabulous and beautiful, friends. Now we're officially on a break. Friends, grab your water bottles if you want them and your booklets and head for a table. And if the person who's converging on that table is someone that you haven't worked with yet, perfect. And if not, keep going to another table and find a person who you haven't worked with yet. And somebody be brave and get on the table and let's get this started. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. It will. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Get your booklet and get a table and get a person and we'll tell you.
Friends, everybody should be near a table by now. Get to a table. If you need a partner, raise your hand and the teaching team will help you. Webinar friends, Linda is your partner. All right, friends, there are two pages in your booklets that are important. Page 20 reminds you of the basic steps, and page 25, 20 and 25, theoretically numbers easy to remember, 20 and 25. 25 has the opening process. Now, friends, I'm not going to talk you through it, but it's the identical thing to what we just did. We'll give you a five-minute warning, and we'll tell you halfway through. We'll give you certain key prompts, but it's very simple. Follow the opening process, remembering the intention. We'll get to that in just a second. Pass the screens with the intention to remove whatever the symptom represents for you and for your subject. And then we'll give you the five-minute warning. Don't start the close until we say five minutes. Go ahead, begin. Well, be helpful to your, it's helpful to your practitioner if you give her something specific. General things can be harder. Yes. Confinement, holding myself small. So the intention is? My intention is to release the confinement and hold myself as big as I really am, my energy as big as it really is. And whatever it represents. And whatever it represents, the root cause. Very yes. good. Thank, Thank you. you. Was that, could you hear it? Five minutes, is it 440?
Friends, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Feel good about it. Take a minute and just feel good. Let's do a quick movement, and then you'll have a minute to share as you're swapping. A quick movement. It will help the sharing be more meaningful. I know it doesn't make sense, but it works. Okay, my intention is my life purpose being supported financially, financial support, and what it represents. Financial support, what it represents, and your name is? Diane. Diane! <laughs> Give it up for Diane! Okay, let's focus. Time. Now is the time, the moment you've waited all your lives for. Someone on the table. Intention. And begin. Begin. We're officially on a 10 minute break. It can be a chat break or a bio break, but we reconvene in 10 minutes at 525. Friends, just one little final talk, then we have a special treat, and then we will close for the weekend. It's been really wonderful sharing this time with you. These weekends are beautiful for me. Thank you for making them possible. It would look stupid if I were here talking to an empty room. <laughs> I would show up anyway. I taught a class in November 2010 for six people, and I said, I will never disrespect this work that deeply again so that I do such little prep that only six people are here for it. Right. So friends, this is level one class. After you complete level two, if you wish, you're eligible to participate in the certification program. At this point, 
you don't have enough. You see, you don't have enough. After level two, you have enough that you can take it into the world and make a difference. You can make a difference in people's lives. And already, of course, you can help. Don't get me wrong. I'm, tr I'm not trying to say you can't help. You can. But after level two, you can really make a difference. Level two, letting go of the past. We talk about, we work with, we practice. Identifying and releasing the traumas from childhood and past lives that are, people are dragging around and have been dragging around for centuries. The baggage they keep tripping over year after year, lifetime after lifetime. After that, you have enough to watch lives transform. You really do. So at Kripalu, we taught it back to back, level one and level two, a week long class and we're scheduled there again next year. They emailed us back right away and said, yes, let's do it again. So yay, yay. Uh, January 26th through the 31st, give or take, give or take. It's a week long, you have to travel. A month from now here, <laughs> A month from now in this same room, you can do level two. And you don't have to. I'm not saying you have to. Please don't twist those words, the words in your head. But I'm saying, friends, friends, that makes a huge difference. Um, people who are reviewers, anybody say anything about level two? People who are reviewers, who have already had level two. Students in the room, not teaching team, who have already had level two. Just shout it out. Don't wait. Don't be shy. It makes a big difference yeah. because you work in past life stuff that we're talking about. It really makes a big difference. It's necessary. It's necessary. It, it's, 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 it's mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> She'll, say She'll say it. She'll say it. Here's the thing, friends. We might think our troubles are because of this, that, or the other event in this life, but the continual things that we trip over over and over again did not begin here. They did not begin here. We can all access past lives. It's natural. It's normal. Teachable, learnable skill. As soon as you can do that, you power it up. So I know that there are three more days of early registration discount. It, three days from now, it's March 6th, Six. Six, and that's 30 days before the class. Don't miss it because of money. Don't miss it because of money. We have a scholarship fund. We don't know where the donations come from, but it seems in our heads that because donations give, come in, we give scholarships. But the truth is, because we give scholarships, donations come in. You see? So ask for what you need. If you would not come to the class because of money, ask for what you need. Ask for what you need. It will draw in the donation to fund your scholarship. That's April 6th and 7th. What comes after that is really up to you. What comes after this is up to you. Life is free will. You can ask for a mentor now. However, for the next month, you can't submit case studies. After the next class, you can submit case studies. Having a mentor now can be valuable. Uh, mentors in the room, please stand up just to be identified. Go talk to somebody that you feel drawn to and ask them, do they have room on their plate for any more? They may or may not. If they don't, we have more behind this door. <laughs> we have more mentors. And, and we will find someone for you to work with. We, we match them. Thank you so much. Um, webinar friends, distance is not an issue. We mentor people through email anyway. And so we've mentored people all over. Don't feel like because you don't live near a mentor that you can't participate. It's just the same. It's just the same. It's just the same. You can do it. You can do it. The one thing I do want to say is that right now you have something to begin with. 
Don't let it die. You can, of course, if you want. I understand. And I will love you anyway. <laughs> I will. Okay, okay, I had to just check my outline because I have a feeling I'm forgetting something. But, Mary, have I forgotten anything? The only thing is we do have some special today. Many of you have already taken advantage of that, but we are recording today. So there's going to be the DVD or the digital downloaded recordings of today's class. And today only you can get them for $50. After that, they'll be on our website eventually for $97. Something. Something like that. Yeah. Um, also, there's a planetary healing class that we took, the higher level class that was from last month, and the recordings are also going to be available by CD or so they're audio recordings or digital download. And today we have here two CDs from the July 2012 higher level class on cellular healing and also <coughs> dreams for guidance. We're down to two. No, two different. I see. Never two mind. different ones. Both of them for fifty dollars. So that's only today. So just so you know. Well, it's this weekend. It's all weekend, but the weekend is almost <laughs> over. Yeah. The weekend is almost so over. Mary, is a so, question on the web not, How do they get the DVD? Well, digital download. Oh, uh, it's not available yet because it has to be uh, edited and produced. But as soon, just email us, or there's got to be a way. Oh, you know what? Okay. I'm sorry. I was supposed to have that page of the website finished, and it's not. But the class was good, eh? So, <laughs> so don't worry. The page will be up on the website. Just contact us, and we'll deal with it from there. So now we have a special treat. We have a professional singer with us and songwriter, Fairy Elaine. And so Fairy Elaine is going to perform for us. I talked to Lynn yesterday. I said, I won't get inspired. I think I'm, I'm going to write a song and maybe I could sing it tomorrow. And uh, she said, Well, how long will it take? I said, I don't know. You know like five minutes or something. Oh, five minutes is good. So I'm actually going to do two songs because I, this one and another one, and I timed them. And it came out to about 4.44. Oh! Stable <laughs> foundation for the future time! <laughs> so this is called the Light Workers Anthem. Get on. 
have them on our table next time. What a blessing. Thank you. Thank you. When that energy, that co-creating spirit moves through, and I can sleep last night. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yes. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Friends, we love you. We love you. Your guides love you, but we love you too. We love you too. You can do this. I don't want to put too many words on top of that beautiful song. Shall we close together? Let's ask right now for any mistakes that were made this weekend and in our lives to be corrected. Any things that we left out this weekend or in our lives to be included. Things that have been done poorly this weekend or in our lives to be made well done by divine grace. Without collapsing when we ask for grace. Staying strong as we ask for grace. And that for our lives in this weekend to be made divinely, divinely perfect by divine grace. And now, let's ask for all of us and for everyone we touched and seeing the many opportunities for planetary healing that was going on. I know that it's all beings on the planet that were touched in one way or another. So may all of us be brought to our perfect frequency and alignment and in harmony with the all that is. May all of us and all beings be brought to our right pitch and perfect state of balance and in harmony with the all that is. Be as big as you are. Don't make a weird story in your head about what it means. Just be as big as you are. May all of us be brought to our perfect vibration and a full state of empowerment, being stewards for source in the world, holding the light on the planet. So be it. Calling our energy all back to us now. Calling our energy back. Our energy coming back to us, into the back of us, into the sides of us, into the front. No matter how many centuries it's been lying around, now is the time. Releasing everyone else's energy back to them. They need it, we don't. They need it, we don't. They need it, we don't. Calling our energy to us, sending everyone's energy back to them. Archangel Michael uses us as vessels to sort out the energy of the world right now at yeah. Unity Consciousness Time. <laughs> and now let's take this bubble of light we have here, this beautiful bubble, expanding it a million, a billion, trillion times over, splitting it into individual bubbles, one for each of us, one for everyone we touched, all beings encased in light, drawing all those bubbles right on down into the divine plan, locking them, popping them, sealing them in place in the plan. And we are complete. Friends, until we meet again, walk in light, live in light, be light. Great work. Awesome. Awesome work. Awesome work. And where's that pesky sign? Here it is. Here it is. But first, the Robin Hood people. And now I know what camera you're on. But I can't reach you anyway. Mm. <laughs> Wasn't that joyful? You see how our minds make it want to be fun, but it was joy. <laughs>